hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm showing you guys how i install my lace frontal wigs if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe also like and comment i will leave the link in the description box down below on how i bought this wig it's only like 16 so first we're gonna take off our hair and we're gonna have up some freshly braids we braid it straight to the back i did that off camera and then you're gonna make sure you have a stocking cap and when you apply the stocking cap you make sure that the creasing in the middle is going horizontally is it vertical either way it's they going ear to ear and i'm gonna apply that disregard that cowlick i have a cowlick in the middle of my head you guys but you're gonna make sure that you have the ball cap nice and snug and you're gonna put it to where you're liking some people like their wigs far back some people like their wigs a little more forward i'm gonna use this got to be spray and i'm gonna spray down the ball cap I'm gonna use the back of this toothbrush to spread the glue out and I'm going to use my blow dryer this is set to cool because you can see I have it really close to my head and if it was really hot I wouldn't be able to do that I'm gonna tug at it to make sure that it is glued down so next I'm gonna start cutting the excess cap off this is the part of the wig cap that we don't need anymore I don't cut it too high by the ear area. I'm just gonna cut it enough to tuck behind my ear. And you can cut this as best to your liking, to be honest, but you don't want it to be in the way and you don't want it to show through your wig, depending on how transparent the lace of the wig is. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. Just gonna cut a little slit in it and then I'm gonna tuck it behind my ear. If you want to cut the slit a little higher than what I did, that's fine as well. I just, you know, I cut it enough so where it doesn't irritate the back of my ear. And right here, you just see me cutting off that extra part of the cap. Um, honestly, you can pull it up just a little bit if you like. If you feel like it's too far on your forehead, that doesn't hurt anything. So now I'm going to test out the wig, make sure that I have the stocking cap where I like it. Because I don't normally do baby hairs when I apply my wig, so I want to make sure that I have the stocking cap cut back far enough to look as natural as possible. And I'm just going to measure the line of the wig from where the hair starts to where the stocking cap is located, right there. And I make sure it's the same way on each side. So now I'm gonna go in with my flat brush and my makeup foundation, and I'm gonna apply that to the ball cap. That way the lace of the wig will melt into the stocking ball cap. Not gonna lie, the lace on my wig is very, very, on the lighter shade of my skin tone so I had to do a little more work to have it look blended with the foundation on my stocking cap so now we're gonna test it out one more time and make sure that it is well blended and as you guys can see look at that look at that now I love this wig but the only problem I have is this ball spot Whoever plucked it, plucked it a little bit too much in that one spot. So now I'm gonna go in with my got to be glue. I normally use ghost bond glue, but by the time I got home, the hair store was closed and I couldn't buy any. This worked just as well. I just gonna have to apply more than one layer because I want it to last me all week. 
So I apply at least three layers. I do them in sections. So I'll either start off on the side or in the middle, but this time I just decided to do the whole head at one time instead of sectioning it off and gluing the wig down. When I get my ghost bond glue and it's time to retouch on this wig, I will show you guys how I do my sections when gluing the wig down. And we're gonna blow dry the first layer. And after the first layer, I'm gonna go in with the second layer. And basically just the same repeat two more times after this. So here's where I was talking about the sections. I normally will put the wig on and then glue down the sectional part and then glue the wig down. So normally like, let's say I would glue down the middle, then glue the wig down, then glue down the side, glue the wig down. But instead I just decided to glue the wig down all at one time and this is the results. It sticks really good. Um, I'm just use a rat tail comb on my fingers to make sure that the wig is glued down in certain spots. I go in between the hair the hair strings, the hair, and glue it down because you don't want to get any glue on the hair in the front. So just be careful when applying your wig that you don't get any glue on the hair because that's just messy and uh, it's, it's, it's messy. <laughs> So now I'm going to tie the hair up before I cut the lace to make sure that it is melted down and when I cut on it and pull on it, it doesn't go anywhere. I do this for about 10 minutes. So after the 10 minutes, we're going to untie the hair. We're going to make sure that it is intact. Then I'm going to begin cutting directly in the middle of the wig. The hair started getting in the way, so if you want to get any flyaways away, I just use me a little mousse and get all that out the way. So I'm cutting along the hairline. Be sure you don't cut the hair. Now sis, look look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Looks like a fake scalp, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on. Bye. It's my little fucker.
Okay, what potato? potato. We're, pa we're past that part. We're past that part. Mm. Love you. Love you. Alright. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, now that I have let the lace melt, I'm gonna glue down that extra lace that did not glue down. And this part takes about 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to take this hair clip, I'm going to clip the hair all back into a ponytail. And for this, you only need something real small, like a toothpick. I use a toothpick. You can use a popsicle stick. You can use anything that you feel is best. I use the toothpick because that's all I had at the time. Plus, the end makes adding the glue way more durable. I don't have to worry about overdoing it and underdoing it. So you see that harsh white line from the glue? I'm going to show you guys after I get done gluing the rest of the lace down how to get rid of that without lifting your wig up. So the little parts of the lace that roll up, I just take a rag to comb up and roll it back down onto the glue. And we're just going to do the same thing this is basically what i do when i have my ghost bond glue doing the sectionals so now we're going to tie this back down for about 20 minutes to have it melt into the skin 20 minutes later and now, the moment you all been waiting for. She is here. See how nicely that is and how much I can be rough and pull it all back without it lifting. 
just follow these steps. I promise you, you will be okay. You will be okay. So right here is where I show you guys when you take a wet, damp towel, we use water to get rid of that harsh white line that the glue left behind. Just wipe it. You can even wipe on the hair. The wig will not lift with water. Well, if you use a lot of water, just make sure the towel is damped, not soaked. So here I'm just going to take parts of the hair and just start styling um, using a flat iron. And we are finished. Look at this wig. To say it's 16 inches, it is beautiful. It moves like natural hair. It's not stiff. It didn't have a smell to it. It's nicely plucked. Besides that bald spot earlier, let's just look at it. Like, I really love this wig. I will be ordering this wig again, but in a longer length. It's too hot to be having it too long right now. It's still summertime. So if you guys want to know more about this wig, I will leave the link to buy this wig in the description box below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.